Day 41. Oh, no. Day 42. Hey Google, what day is it today? It is Sunday, the 11th of August, 2019. So that's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad. Staying consistent, keep moving forward, and you will reach your goals as I'm about to. 42 days with a video, including this one. Today is all about climbing hills for like the sixth or seventh time. We're doing the observatory. I got a Garmin Verb. Uh, it's awesome because you can do like an overlay. You'll see it in the video. It's like makes the videos, video content look so much better. So hey, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm about $400 left to my $2,500 goal. So there's a donation box down below. Donate, please help me. And yeah, have a great Sunday. So today's workout uh, was uh, hill climbing at the observatory. Now the observatory in Victoria is uh, one of the best places to do your, your hill workouts. Uh, it's a nice gradual climb that takes anywhere from five minutes if you're super speedy, you know, to 10 or 15 minutes if you're, if you're just getting started on a bike. Uh, it's a nice gradual climb. Um, it's off the beaten path, so to speak, meaning it, it, it's a dead end road, which is kind of nice because the traffic is uh, very minimal in there. And often uh, the gates are actually closed to traffic, which is also nice. Uh, so a great climb. If you live in this area, definitely hit up the observatory climb. You get a beautiful view from the top, which is uh, an added bonus um, uh, to most climbs. And one of the big reasons to actually get out on your bike and, and get uphill because uh, you're always presented with some inspiration at the top. Um, today's workout uh, that I gave you had a combination of seated climbing and standing climbing. Um, now these are two positions on the bike that are really valuable to have in your toolkit, so to speak. Uh, seated climbing, of course, is going to be the most comfortable and easy uh, for, for beginner cyclists because you're sitting on your bike. Uh, standing up while you're climbing or standing up at all when you're on your bike is a little more challenging and takes some experience and practice. Um, when you're climbing, uh, there's two reasons uh, that we want to have uh, seated and standing options. Uh, the first is that when you're seated, you're going to utilize more of your muscle. So uh, when you're sitting down, you have to generate all of that power uh, using your leg muscles. Um, typically, your heart rate will stay a little bit lower when you're seated. Uh, that's one of the benefits to it. But it's a little more taxing on the muscles. And if the, the climb gets really, really steep, you may have no other option but to uh, stand up to generate more power. Uh, so when you're standing, um, what we do is we take a little bit of the load off of the leg muscles, to keep it simple, um, and we allow you to generate some of that power with your body weight because of course if you're standing up, you can kind of throw your body weight side to side and crank the pedals around uh, that way. So, um, really important to be able to do both. Um, I think I, in previous videos I've probably talked about when you're standing up that you want, to, you want the bike to be able to rock gently back and forth underneath you. Uh, you don't want the bike to you know, be still. You want to have a nice gentle rocking motion that'll make it easier. Um, typically when you're standing up the heart rate will come up. Uh, so your effort comes up a little bit. That's because it's kind of more like running. You know, you've got more of your, you're using more of your body weight um, and more of your body in general because you're kind of, you know, rocking the bike back and forth. So you're engaging more of your body to get the work done. But you can usually produce more work when you're standing. Now, the, the drawback to standing is it's, it's unsustainable for any real length of time unless you're a highly experienced cyclist. So typically, what people will do is they'll go in between sitting and standing. So they'll stand when they need a little bit of extra power or when they need to take the pressure off their legs a little bit. And then they'll sit back down um, for the longer sections. Certainly on a hill like the observatory that's a little more gentle, uh, you're gonna wanna sit for most of it. It doesn't really make sense to get up and stand unless you're really giving it and having a, a super hard effort. So sitting and standing, uh, Two positions on the bike that are really, really valuable to have in your toolkit. Um, and it looks like today you did a great job. Awesome, Jesse.